Hi, welcome to Cruise Control. My name's Eric, and today we are in a 2022 Toyota GR86 manual. Yes, we are. It finally happened. Thank you, Toyota of Pueblo, for letting me allow to get this. And this might be my next car. Leave your comments down below if this is the one I should get. I'm shopping this against the RF Miata, the Honda Civic Type R, and the upcoming GR Corolla. So it's going to be one of these four, but let's find out what this is like right now. Welcome to Cruise Control. All right, so this is the one with three pedals, the manual transmission, the one that we've all been waiting for. I apologize for the wind. There's not much I can do about it. This is Colorado after all. We're going to do a brief walk around. It's the same exact styling as the Neptune Blue. I'll show you guys the name of what this blue is here. It's still a pretty blue. It is not my favorite blue. Torino blue is what this one's called. So again, I really like the styling, but the most important thing about this one is the fact that it has three pedals down here and when you rev it, nice little sound. Yes, it has a sound generator, but you can turn that off by removing it. It's gonna be by removing a little thing on the side that's over here and you can unplug it. All right, so first impressions, the clutch take up is very light, very easy. And I just got out of driving the FRS less than a month ago. So that one is still in my mind as far as how good and or bad the shifter and the interior quality felt. And this one is exactly what I was hoping for, a world of improvement to the previous generation, in my opinion. I haven't gotten on it yet. This is my very first time accelerating, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, so let's go into a normal gear here and let's see how it is just around town. Shifts are very smooth, they're very easy. Uh, when you wanna get on it, it actually sounds really good, the sound generator. At first, I, I really hated the idea of a sound generator, but man, I didn't know this is what they were gonna sound like. So second gear happens or 60 miles an hour happens in second gear, which is why car and driver was able to get a zero to 60 time of 5.4 seconds. Quarter mile of 14 seconds flat. In the BRZ, they got a 13.9. But you know what? Oh. <laughs> the back end was sliding. Woo! <laughs> oh man. I loved it. This is uh, nice. This is really nice. Honestly, uh, better than what I was expecting, if I'm if I'm being honest. And I already knew it was going to be good, but. So going over a rough pavement right now, it actually soaks up the bumps better than my Honda Civic Si from 2009. So it's actually better suited for Colorado roads. Seating position, I have just enough room for a helmet. Remember, I am five foot eleven. The seats aren't as comfortable as the Type R. They're probably about the same comfort level as my current Civic uh, Si seats are. So I could probably do a two hour very comfortably up to a four hour because it does have heated seats. So thank you for that. Uh, I had to add heated seats to mine. Um, 
steering inputs are too light for my taste. I wish that they were a little bit firmed up, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. It is very precise, so at least there's that. But going over Colorado bumps, this thing's actually very comfortable. So it's a good balance between sport and comfort. Okay, so we're driving it just normal. Let's have bike on just a typical day. It's really comfortable. I'm actually surprised. <clears throat> um, I think I like this overall more than the RF Miata because you do have a bigger cabin. No, I don't have the drop top, but you know, but maybe if I go back and drive the RF Miata, I'm going to say I, en I enjoy that more. So maybe it's a case of which car am I currently driving to which one do I like more? Maybe it's that type of deal. I'm not sure, but mm, and that's nice. That is fun. That is fun. Hmm. The Civic Type R, I liked the seats better. I liked its handling better. I liked the power more. Suspension was even more comfortable. But the looks, they didn't look like this. And the back end didn't slide out like this. You know, so this has things that the Type R can't do. In a perfect world, in a perfect world, I would actually own this and the Type R. Oh, but then you got the GR Corolla, which, which does 50-50 all-wheel drive, 60-40 front to 40 in the back, or 70 in the back, 30 up front. So that's pretty cool. And of course, there's the... Uh, the always great Super WRX STI, the Golf R, those are some other greats that are out there. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can do a zero to 60 and see what's my best time. Okay, so I just did my best zero to 60 time. Again, I'm at 5,000 feet elevation. I did a 6.83, so that was my best time, a 6.83. Not bad for being 5,000 feet elevation. Let's talk about some things that I like, some things that I don't like. Of course, I love the way it looks. I'm very happy that it comes with a manual. They kept the weight down. The seats are comfortable. I like the fact that this one actually has heated seats. So there's a lot of things that I like about this particular model. I love the uh, track mode that's on here. The fact that you can just hit the, the track engagement and it kicks off the traction control and changes your tachometer instantly. That's awesome. They updated the interior with nicer Alcantara and materials. I like that. They kept the price down. I like that. There's obviously a lot of things that I like. Power is up, so of course that's a great thing. Things that I don't like, the clutch and the, the engine sometimes makes almost like a a tractor-like noise. My dad sold uh, case tractors for a long time, and it, in some regards, this reminds me of like a refined tractor. And I'm sorry if that offends some of you, but it just does. Uh, it's not as unrefined as like the Slingshot or the previous FRS, but it's not as refined as like, let's say, the Civic Type R. Um, so it's like an in-between, but you know what? This one is so much better than the original like FRS that I'm okay with it. And the power delivery is very smooth. Torque dip. I know everyone wants to know about the torque dip. I don't know. I don't notice it, honestly. If you keep your, your foot in it, it just keeps going and going and going. So I honestly don't notice the torque dip at all. It's very smooth, regardless if you're putting around town or if your foot's in it to win it, it's still really good. Um, what else don't I like? The black interior. I'm not a big fan of just all black interior. I wish there was a splash of color. Uh, like the stripe that's down the middle of the seat. I think that would have been a great opportunity to at least put some color in here, even if they were gonna keep one color as a theme, whether if that's red or blue or whatever they want their theme to be. I wish there was something like that. I would add maybe LED lighting, um, Alcantara wrap steering wheel. I would love to have with maybe the stitching color of whatever the exterior option it is. I might even do like the seat belt in the external color of the car as well. Stuff that like Porsche does and some of the other sports cars do just so it gives a splash of color and some personalization to the inside. It's a little bit too dull for me. For me. I don't like that this comes with the smaller brakes. They do not give you the option to buy the Brembo's right now. That's not available. I know eventually that that's gonna come out, 
but unfortunately for right now, that's just not a thing. So the next thing that I need to find out is if this is gonna be my next car or not. But I have to drive the GR Corolla. I've already driven the Type R. I've already driven the Arf Miata, now this. So I've already done three of them. I just need one more, the GR Corolla. Tell me down below which one do you guys think is in the lead right now? Which one do you think is gonna win overall? But this definitely puts a smile on my face and it's everything that I hoped it would be and maybe, you know what, maybe it's actually more because when I got to see yesterday in that Neptune Blue, I got to drive that with the manual. Mm. I'm telling you right now, that'd be pretty hard to walk away from. My name's Eric. This is Cruise Control. Please do like and subscribe. Please leave your comment down below on which car you think I'm going to get. See you on the next one.